Greg Janung with 21CT Linksion. Today we're going to look at cyber data as it applies to Linksion and data analysis and visualization. In this data set, we're going to look at IDS, IPS layered on top of network connections or a version of NetFlow. This specific data set exists for about six months and we're going to run some analytics and do some hunting of these data parts. Specifically today, we're going to look at FTP exfiltration connections. This is one of the analytics that comes in the Linksion analytic catalog for cyber. We have a number of different analytics you can run. This happens to be the one that I'm going to demo today. This analytic asks for all FTP connections over destination port 20, where bytes sent is 10 times bytes received. I'm going to visualize that data in the Linksion canvas. This result shows that we have a number of different machines that are perpetrators of FTP traffic. And what we're going to do now is simplify the way that we view them and start to analyze these patterns and behaviors or potentially some anomalies. These boxes here represent internal machines talking to internal machines over FTP. So I don't necessarily need these machines to do analysis because I would just take them off the network and provide basically some further forensics on each box or just wipe them. So in Linksion, I'm going to delete those sections. I also do not need this piece. The reason that I'm keeping these specific data sets is that there are really two different types of uh, anomalies or behaviors here that I want to focus in on. The first one is this external country flag shown, external IP address connecting to the internal South Park box. These IP addresses are obfuscated for your viewing pleasure. However, this is real data. What we're looking at here is an external machine FTPing into an internal box on a classified or secure network, something we do not want to see. Additionally, we have this York asset here that is actually has a check mark. This is a Linksion specific tag. This is provided to the 21CT team as we applied Linksion to the data. The customer provide a list of high value asset IP addresses and we basically pulled all of those in and tagged them uh, accordingly. In this regard, what I want to do now is I want to start to take a look at some of the behaviors, so I'm going to turn off the simplification of paths. Linksion will then re-visualize the data and show every single data part or data connection over FTP during this timeline. There are many different ways to visualize the data and look at it within Linksion. In this regard, I'm going to basically select a force-directed layout. Pulling these data parts together is really one of the keys. So what I'm going to do now is kind of start to look at what we're seeing. So we're looking at potentially some port jumping activity, but in general what I do know is that this types of behaviors and anomalies and patterns are specific to an IPS IDS box that is not firing properly. This right here is an IDS IPS alert layered on top of all of these high port connections to destination port 20. We only have one IDS IPS alert firing for all of this high port traffic. So in general, I want to go back and look at that IPS and probably make some changes. Additionally, I want to further hunt this high value asset here. So what I'm going to do within Linksion is to expand all connections, not just FTP traffic, but every single connection to this high value asset during this time frame. I'm going to ask Linksion a very big question and get a very quick answer back. And as you can see, I will re-visualize this a couple of different ways, but as you can see, the data parts between the high value asset and this anomalous connection string are connected. We have this connection set here, as well as these here. In Linksion, you can do a lot of different visualization states. One of the benefits of the tool is our timeline feature. Within Linksion, you can actually take all of the data sets that you're looking at and replay, essentially in cyber, the anatomy of an attack. I'm going to delete this piece here because I don't need this in order to do further timeline-based forensics. And I'm going to situate the timeline so that we're looking at only the data parts that I want to take a look at here, which happens to be about, uh, about 15 to 20 days worth of data. Rewinding the timeline, you can see that there are some original connections here, and that this is the first connection into that high-value asset. Using our mouse, we will simply play forward all of the connection sets, and you can start to see that there are connections here that potentially are spidering type of connections, where the high-value asset is being um, either spidered or checked out or at least touched to see if there are ways to communicate with it. As we fast forward through, you can see that there are a there's a long delay here 
uh, potentially around 15 days where there was no activity this high value asset from this connection string but then begins again more activity and one more of the spidering connections there you can see it coming in reverse reverse forward and then last and finally the final exfiltration connection there out of the high value asset.